While filming a series of fifth gear, we cover over 25,000 miles in just a few months. So having a couple of hardworking, reliable cars to get us through is absolutely essential. The first of the cars that we've got for this series is the Mazda CX-7. It costs 26,000 pounds, has a 2.2 litre turbo diesel engine and is four wheel drive. Our new Mazda has already seen its first fifth gear days out, being a filming car on TIFF's Aston Martin Rapide shoot and coming to the rescue with battery power when Vicky drove a Mugen Civic Type R. The first thing we noticed when we had it delivered a couple of weeks ago was how well equipped it is. You get a reversing camera, sat nav, cruise control, heated seats, leather, all the standard, which makes it seem pretty good value next to a normal estate like the Mazda 6 or Mondeo. The second thing we noticed is how agile it is. You can sense a little bit more lean through the corners because of the high ride height over a standard estate car, but I think we've all been surprised by the fact that you can have a little bit of fun driving a big off-roader. There have only been two real complaints about the way it drives so far. The first one is that the steering's a little bit too light, and I think I agree with that. The second one is that a couple of people said the gear change is a little bit stiff and a little bit notchy. I don't agree. I actually think it's one of the snickiest, tightest gear changes you can get in an off-roader. That's one of my favourite bits of the car. Until late last year, you could only have a CX-7 with the 2.3-litre turbocharged petrol engine out of a Mazda 3 MPS. But now they facelifted it, the only engine you can have is this 2.2 litre turbo diesel. It's a little bit noisier than it was before and obviously not as quick as the petrol. But overall, we've averaged 33.1 miles per gallon, which, considering how hard we use it, is actually pretty good. Other points to note include a decently sized boot that is also at an easy height for lugging in heavy camera kit. It's also fitted with an AdBlue system. AdBlue is a liquid chemical that's made up of urea and deionized water, which basically means it's we, and that gets added to the exhaust gases to reduce nitrogen oxides that diesels especially emit a lot of. Apparently, there's a little 15 litre tank hiding around here somewhere, and it needs refilling every 20,000 miles, and it'll get taken care of at service. Overall then, very good first impressions. Nice to drive, plenty of equipment, loads of space and a little pot of piddle to keep the pollution down. Once we've spent a little bit more time with it, we'll upload a new video explaining what we've learnt and how we're getting on.